Howdy. Let's talk about uh, chapter three, which is second order linear differential equation, okay? Let me try to summarize what it learned so far, okay? So we talked about uh, first order differential equation. The first one was the first order linear differential equation. Then we used the method of integrating factor, right? And then we talked about like some specific special type of the like nonlinear first order differential equation, right? The first one was separable. The second one is using the um, e uh, like exact, right? And it was like exact with the uh, integrating factor, right? All those are like very special case, okay? Now we're gonna talk about the second order linear differential equation, okay? So basically, as you can see in the slide, and you can see like, you know, there is like a second derivative, right? D squared y over dt squared or y double prime, right? And then your right hand side is linear. That's why I assume what we assume, okay? And okay, so first of all, um, this is um, general form. Or, okay, but like the thing is, like we would love to, we would love to make the like the leading term as the coefficient free, which means like look at that. There is capital P from y double prime, and we're gonna divide by PT on both side then there's no coefficient for y double prime, okay? And we can say the second one, uh, when you divide by pt on both sides, we're gonna say that is standard form. Okay, and that's it. So this is just like basic idea. And also we have to talk about one more concept, which is homogeneous, okay? That is very useful, but we're gonna talk about non-homogeneous later, but we're gonna start from homogeneous case first, okay? So homogeneous means, here we go. Homogeneous means you're right, when you set, when you set up as the like general form of the second order differential equation, when your right-hand side is equal to zero, then we can say it is homogeneous, which means there is no constant term, okay? Look at your, look at your left-hand side, and there is y double prime term, and y prime term, and y term. And there's no constant on your left hand side, or right hand side, okay? We will say that is homogeneous uh, differential equation, okay? So we're basically like, whenever you have like a homogeneous differential equation, we're gonna say your solution form is y is equal to e to the rt form, it's okay? It is really well known property, okay? So let me check like, you know, or uh, let me try to uh, check like this one is the solution for your uh, second order linear differential equation, which is homogeneous equation, okay? How can you do it? We're gonna plug in y and y prime and y double prime into your differential equation, okay? So, if we say your y is e to the rt, then we can, we can easily find y prime is r e to the rt. I'm talking about chain, okay? And what is y double prime? It is r square e to the rt, another chain, right? And we're gonna plug in everything in the given differential equation, which is a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y is equal to zero. Then this one will be uh, written like this way. We're gonna plug in r square e to the r t instead of y double prime, and b r e to the r t, and c times e to the r t equals zero, okay? The good thing is, as you remember, e to the r t, which is exponential function, is uh, uh, never be equal to zero and always positive, right? And which means we can divide by e to the r t everywhere because it is not equal to zero, okay? Then we just cancel out these guys. And then we will have a r squared plus b r plus c is equal to zero, okay? Well, actually this one is just like a simply quadratic equation for r, right? And like you have a, b, and c, right? And we can solve it, right? And if you have to find an r, and you can solve it, okay? There are a couple of ways, or like you know, the simplest one is that you can use quadratic formula, right? And there is special name for this one, which is characteristic equation, okay? It is in the definition number two, okay? It is characteristic equation, okay? It is came from second order uh, linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficient, okay? Or A, B, and Cs are the constant, constant coefficient, okay? In that case, you, you will have a characteristic equation. And this, since it, this one is 
like you know quadratic equation, we can easily solve this uh, quadratic equation. Okay, so then you can find the exponential function form of the solution very easily. Okay, so here we go. Let's try to do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to solve this one. Okay, here we go. So let me write a uh, characteristic equation of the given equation number four, okay? Which is a r squared plus b r plus c equals zero, right? Then we assume, okay? The root r R1 and R2. The first assumption is we're gonna assume your R1 and R2s are different and or real numbers, okay? But you will say like, you know, hey JD, like there's the case like R1 is equal to R2 or they could be imagined number. It is true. But in this section, we will talk about the real, two different real solution case only, okay? And we will talk about the duplicate case in the next section and the complex number case in like, you know, section 3.3, okay? So like, you know, please calm down and we can start from the easiest concept first, okay? So when uh, they are not equal to each other and they are all real number, then your uh, specific solution, y1 is e to the r1t and your second one, y2t is equal to e to the r2t. That makes sense, right? Because like in second order, which means you have to have like two different, because like R1 is not equal to okay? Two different uh, specific solutions, okay? And then like, you know, we can go forward, okay? And, and these are all um, solution for the equation number four, okay? Okay, and one more thing. Now we found y1 and y2, right? And one more thing you have to know is like, you know, the linear combination of these two solution is also the solution of the like given differential equation, okay? It is stated like in you know, right after this one. Here we go. We're gonna say that is general solution. And whenever you find r1, r2, which is roots for, uh, from the characteristic equation, then we can find the specific uh, solution, which is y1, let's say it is e to the r1t and y2 to e to the r2t and the linear combination form, I'm talking about this form, okay? c1 times e to the r1t plus c2 times e to the r2t, okay? c1 and c2s are just any kind of like constant, okay? So like, like we say this is linear uh, combination form and like this is also the solution of your um, differential equation, okay? So we're gonna say that is general solution, okay? So like from this point, like we're gonna try to find a uh, general solution uh, of the like second order differential equation with constant coefficient and homogeneous, okay? So let me practice uh, number one, are you ready? It will be easy, look at that. It is second order and linear co uh, constant coefficient and it is homogeneous equation, right? So we can start from uh, characteristic equation, okay? Here we go. What is that? It is r squared plus three r plus two equals zero, okay? Then that's really easy to solve, uh, like into the factoring for this quadratic equation, right? And that is r plus one and r plus two equals zero. Then I have two different real solutions, right? And then, We can say um, your general solution is the linear combination of these two specific solution, right? Which is C1 times e to the minus t plus C2 times e to the minus 2t. This is your general solution, right? Is that clear? So let me give you another one, okay? Here we go. Y double prime minus two Y prime minus two I equals zero, okay? Again, classification is very important, okay? This is second order 
uh, linear differential equation with constant coefficient and it is homogeneous, right? Then we should start from characteristic, characteristic equation, okay? Here we go. Equation of differential equation is uh, r squared minus 2r minus 2 equals 0. Wait a minute. It's not simple uh, factoring, right? But like this case, we can use the quadratic formula, right? What is that? r is equal to minus b plus and minus and square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2a. So let me simplify a little bit, okay? 2 plus and minus and square root of minus 2 squared is 4 and plus uh, 8. Right, which is 12 over, right, little more, 2 plus and minus 2 squared of 3 over 3, right? because like 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3, right? And then we can simplify by canceling these guys. Then your r is 1 plus and minus n square root of 3, which means your r1 is 1 plus square root of 3, and r2 is 1 minus square root of 3, right? Then your general solution of this differential equation is y t is equal to coefficient c1 times e to the 1 plus, let me use the parenthesis, okay? t plus c2 times e to the 1 minus square root of 3 t, which is linear combination of like two specific solutions, okay? And that's it. 